But you know, like, nowadays, uh, in the internet, is so much bull crap. They have a lot of fake. It was really real. Yeah. So, but that being said, is um, I'm flying, I'm flying them out. I'm a, I'm a fine help. Uh, I'm gonna put them in the, the, the nicest, biggest hotel in in LA. I'm gonna give him no tickets for the show. And he gonna stand next to my DJ, so that means he gonna come in with me. You know what I'm saying? Um, I'm flying out to LA. I'm gonna take him shopping. You know, you know, pay, I'm gonna pay for all this. The fine. It's all. What's up, YouTube fans? What's up, Facebook? All right, I've been watching, I've been scrolling through Facebook, and I just happened to come across this, and this is crazy. Like, what the fuck? I know that, okay, first off, this nigga was back in, um, back in June of, June, July of, uh, was it July when he came into the pot? We was in Miller County together, locked up together. All right, dude, come in there. You can tell, you can look at the picture and tell your guy is off. You know, like my first interaction, like when he first walked in, he looked kind of weird. My first interaction was, you know what I'm saying? They call it child, it's lunchtime. Next thing you know, he come up to me. We got the tray head, bologna sandwiches on it. And, you know what I'm saying, Trey had a cookie on it, you know what I'm saying, a, a fat cookie. And he was like, man, I give you this tray for your cookie. Like, he was in there the whole time trading trays for cookies. So you know something wrong. On the other hand, you know that Miller County is pissed off because I seen, I seen, I read that. Like, they talking about they going to restrict his, uh, they not going to grant him, uh, like, you got to do a travel pass, you're on probation or whatever. Also, they gave this nigga five years probation. Like, what the fuck? If anything, if you really wanted to help this young man, you would have got him some psychological assessment done and sent him somewhere to where he got some real help. All the time, he was talking about some, like, like okay, his nickname was Plane Crash. Like, that nigga went for the fly nowhere. Like, he said he got off in there and he jumped the gate and then he saw he ran on the tarmac and seen the plane, got off in there and got in the cockpit some kind of way, you know what I'm saying? Again, apparently the shit he's telling us is true. And then he was like, they, uh, security come rushing in talking about some come out with your hands up, you know what I'm saying? He was like, they had fired shotguns in the air like a couple of times or whatever, you know? And he was like, came out looking all scared and like, look at his mugshot. That, that tell you a lot about a person by looking at his mugshot. And it's crazy. Like, we had went to the infirmary together at one point and somebody had asked him, why the fuck you just didn't steal a car if you was trying to go? You know what I'm saying? He was like, hell, you probably could have got further with that. Uh, he was like, oh, I didn't think of that. You know what I'm saying? He was like, I was like, nigga. <laughs> On the other hand, like, who does some shit like that? And then when the rapper finds Dex finds out about it, he's talking about paying this young man fees. I wish I could find somebody to pay my fees. Golly. Like, then he talking about going to or flying him out to a concert in LA. Like, I don't, well, for one, I don't know how that nigga gonna fly. He definitely not gonna fly out of Texas Canada. So, <laughs> somebody finna be flying about a Shreveport or Dallas or Little Rock or some shit like that. But I just can't believe that this is happening in our city. <laughs> On the other hand, the question was brought up, we was just 100% sure, like, this nigga had to be smoking synthetic. So, I want to leave off by saying this one thing. Leave that K2, that synthetic, that synthetic weed, that shit that's frying y'all motherfucking brains. Leave all these fucking drugs alone. You know what I'm saying? Like, 
when you was younger, you signed off in probably like fifth grade saying dare. Dare to be fucking different. Like, leave these drugs alone. Look at what are they doing to this young man. Like, oh my fucking God. <laughs> look at this nigga. Then, look at the nigga that's talking about flying him out. Like, man, what is going on in the world? I just, I can't, I can't stop looking at this shit. I done watched it a couple of times because once it got on my radar, I was like, man, I know this nigga from the county. Now, worst part about it, the last time I saw him, it was one night. He was tripping. Cause he kept he kept talking about breaking out. That's the first thing about it. He was in there talking about breaking out like majority of the time he was in there. He was talking about climbing the walls. He was talking about going through the window. He was talking about going through the ceiling the whole time. So then, um, like the whole time, he's talking about breaking out. So like, when when one night he just flips out and starts kicking the shit out of the fucking door, and about eight guards come rushing in that night, and when he see all the guards coming in, like tase his ass, that nigga walked off. Was like. Like, whoo, I fucked up, you know what I'm saying? I just really thought they were for the taste of shit out of his ass. It was probably one of the uh, the most entertaining experiences that I had seen. But, you know, like, what the fuck? Like, I would just have to say this. Texacana, Texas, Texacana, Arkansas. Well, that nigga from the Arkansas side, you know what I'm saying? So, I'm going I'm to say that. Texacana, Arkansas, we just going to have to pray for our city. Ah. Uh, and leave that fucking K2, that static alone. I, what the fuck? Stay away from the airport. I don't, I don't know, man. Shit. Goddamn plane crash. <laughs> uh, but you know how, like, nowadays that in the internet is so much bull crap. They have probably fake. It was really real. real. Yeah. <laughs> But that being said, it's, um, I'm flying, I'm flying out, I'm going to flying out, uh, I'm going to put him in the, the, the nicest, biggest hotel in, in L.A. I'm going to give him no tickets to the show, and he going to stand next to my DJ. So that means he going to come in with me, you know what I'm saying? Um, if I'm flying out to L.A., I'm going to take him shopping, you know, and I'm going to pay for all this the fine, it's all. Feel just like a rock star